Coming out, but the warm up means the chance of some nasty weather moving in. You know, we're bracing ourselves for this. Larissa's back. Larissa, I was outside earlier, and you know, the clouds had parted a little bit, sun kind of shining, but it's deceiving, right? <laughs> yes, it is. And we're going to continue to see those clouds breaking for some sun here as we head towards the afternoon. But when you have more sunshine on days like today, that's actually bad news for us because it further destabilizes the atmosphere, which means storms can be that much more intense. Right now, we're actually nice and Quiet, but just to our west, here's our incoming system, and it is producing this line of storms that have formed up nicely just north of the Pittsburgh area. And believe it or not, this line is also prompting a lot of lightning. We're going to see that as this storm system continues to approach our region, just plenty of lightning. So here is what you can expect it is going to turn stormy starting really this evening, and that's going to continue through the overnight. These storms develop here after 7. PM, but a pop up thunderstorm out ahead of it cannot be ruled out. So it's all fair game from here on out. These storms will be moving in from west to east with the most widespread rain and storm and act stormy activity over us by 2 a.m. Frequent lightning, as I just showed you there on radar, certainly something to keep in mind. But these are your possible severe weather threats this evening and through tonight. Strong winds and heavy rain are both leading the board. Hail cannot be ruled out. Right now, the threat for a tornado is low, but it's something to keep in mind, folks, because we will see pretty nasty storms develop here as we approach the evening hours. I always love using this particular motto because it's very consistent, especially when we're looking at a 24 hour period. Notice 7 30, we have a few claps of thunder over the area, but the real activity really gets going. These thunderstorms really blossom as we move towards the overnight hours. Imagine we have that cold front that's going to be interacting with the humidity in place. It's very humid outside right now, and that is going to send for heavy rain, some hail, and damaging wind gusts being the number one concern here moving forward. We could still see a few pop up thunderstorms as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. So I did keep that in my chance as far as the forecast is concerned. I kept that in the forecast. Temperatures both today and tomorrow low 80s. And then once we get through the afternoon of Tuesday, I do suspect things turn turn around for us. For one, we're going to notice really beautiful weather unfold for us on Wednesday with less humidity really starting Tuesday afternoon. And then it's shaping up to be a gorgeous second half of the work week. Highs in the upper 70s both Thursday and both Wednesday and Thursday. We're a little bit warmer on Friday and then the weekend looks hot. It does look humid. But right now, it does look like perfect beach weather for dad on Sunday. I know a lot of people will appreciate that for sure. Larissa, thank you.